serving God. Sometimes we don't know your power. We think that you only work in the hospital room. We think that you're limited to the time when we are on the highway and an accident is about to come. But God, tonight you have shown yourself to be sovereign in the hearts of men. Lord, I confess that every time I hear the truths of the last days, I'm grateful to you for preserving them in the holy sacred word. Thank you for giving us insight into what is happening and what is to come in the end times. Thank you for removing the veil from before our eyes that amidst the false doctrines of men we are able to look through the pages of scripture with our own eye and gain an understanding of the truths of the time. Thank you, Lord, that we don't have to rely on any bishop. Thank you, we don't have to rely on any priest or any pastor. We are grateful that we no longer need to go to any sanctuary to receive the interpretation of man. But you have translated the sacred word. That those of us who speak Spanish, who understand the English, whose only dialect is French, may be able to see from scripture ourselves the teaching of your word. But Lord, we thank you that even while there are Ethiopian eunuchs who are on their way reading the scriptures, that you have servants that you have called, set apart to open the difficult passages of truth to our life. The truth is, Lord, for many individuals watching, for many individuals here, these things sound fine. So Lord, in this moment right now, the preacher might have done his best to make it clear. But maybe there is someone who needs a deeper insight. A clearer perspective. A deeper understanding. And so tonight I pause to pray for such a Lord. Yes, Lord. I pray for those individuals whom the Bible instructors are meeting with. Yes. Who have questions. Yes. Doubts. Who Almighty Father wants to surrender but something is in their back of their mind saying to them, hold on a little longer. Lord, I pray for that young man who doesn't understand yes. that worshipping on another day other than that which you have outlined is really and truly leading him along the pathway of obedience and loyalty to someone else other than you. So Lord, the truths tonight have been heavy. Every preacher who have opened your words, understanding the hour in which we live and have taught and preached those truths, know the burden of the soul on his own shoulder. So tonight, just give those in the audience and give those on Facebook and on YouTube a clearer perspective. If something was said that needs to be cleared up, Lord, I pray we may just allow them the opportunity now to drop a word, send us a direct message that someone may receive it and that we may pass it on that their answers may be given. Because even with the open Bible, some of us are still not clear. So I speak for those Almighty Father, I pray for those tonight who need to go a little deeper than where the preacher is leaving us tonight because of the curfew. Bless us as we study your word. Thank you, Father. Bless him as he prepares his mind to preach your word. Yes. That souls may be born for the eternal kingdom of righteousness and peace we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Just before you go.